Yet another military funeral, yet another new death in Afghanistan. Last night, rifleman Amanaze Toge was named as the latest British soldier to be killed in Afghanistan. From the 2nd Battalion, the rifles, he was killed whilst on foot patrol in Goreshk in Helmand province. He's from the same battalion which saw five comrades killed on the 10th of July. He served in Kosovo before heading out to Afghanistan. His lieutenant colonel said he was one of the toughest riflemen under his control and was adored by all who came across him. Yesterday, family, friends, brothers in arms gathered. Trooper Joshua Hammond was killed in an explosion just two weeks ago. Gordon Brown says there are enough troops and equipment in Afghanistan. His chief of the armed forces says he's wrong. The Prime Minister was very interested um, and we will be looking at this uh, as a matter of urgency because, as I say, the counter-ID campaign is the key tactical issue for us at the moment. Stirrups handed Downing Street a wish list of equipment and men. Brown's increasingly under pressure to deliver. Stirrups adamant a lack of men and equipment leaving troops exposed. Essentially, it's causing casualties. Someone who knows only too well about the equipment situation today, once Corporal Johnson Bahari VC, welcome back to Kent his very own brothers in arms. He hasn't seen them since 2004. He says, equipment or not, British troops and their families know what they're signing up to. And, you know, the family have to accept when someone decides to join the army or, you know, join the navy, whatever decision, a military decision they make, they have to accept that one day they might get that call. This the more welcome aspect of sending troops to a faraway land. Stark contrast from this, sadly, with or without new equipment, we'll no doubt see more of the latter.